Hi viewers, I am Nadeem. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to the Faruk Academy. Today we will discuss chapter number 8, exercise 8A, part number 2, book T3. In part number 1, we have completed 5 questions uh, of further trigonometry. Now starting from question number 6. So, question number 6. Find an acute angle whose sign is in a part. Find an acute angle whose sign is 0 0.52 so it means we have to find the value of x so as given that sine x is equal to 0 0.52 so the value of x is sine inverse 0 0.52 so the value of x with the help of calculator 31.30 which is an acute angle less than 90 so that is your required result so it is up to 1 dp 1 decimal place is okay now in b part we have been given 0 0.75 so s it means sin x is equal to 0 0.75 the value of sin is the value of x is sin inverse 0 0.75 so the value of x is mm, 48.6 degree up to 1 dp one decimal place so that is your required result which is also a acute angle less than 90 48.6 so no need to subtract from 180 for obtuse angle so here is acute angle so it's okay now in C part in C part 0 0.875 so sin x is equal to 0 0.875 so the value of x is sin inverse 0 0.875 with the help of scientific calculator you will get 61.0 degree up to 1 dp 1 decimal place so 61 again less than 90 so it is an acute angle here is your result so in d portion 0 0.3456 so sin x is equal to 0 0.3456 so the value of x is equal to sin inverse 0 0.3456 so with the help of calculator you can get 20.2 degree up to one decimal place one dp once again 20.2 less than 90 it is an acute angle so here is your result now in question number seven find the obtuse angle now question number seven find the obtuse angle question number seven obtuse angle we have to find in a portion 0 0.52 okay sin x is equal to 0 0.52 what does that mean x is equal to sin inverse 0 0.52 so with the help of scientific calculator you will get 31.33 so up to uh, 2 dp 2 decimal places but 31.33 is an acute angle but we need obtuse angle in question number 7 we have been asked we have to find obtuse angle so for obtuse angle uh, what should we do for obtuse angle we have to subtract from 180 that's why 180 minus 31.33 degree so you will get 148.7 degree so it is an obtuse angle up to 1 dp 1 decimal place that is your required result now uh, in B portion So in B part, uh, that is uh, zero point uh, zero point seven five. So sine x is equal to mm, that is. Mm, just I think we have solved it but okay uh, that is x is equal to sine inverse uh, 0 0.75 so the value of x is equal to uh, 48.59 degree same type of question up to 2 dp what does that mean it means uh, 48 is an acute angle but we need obtuse angle so for obtuse 
uh, subtract from 180 uh, that is 48.59 you will get obtuse angle that is 131.4 degree up to 1 dp 1 decimal place so that is the required result similarly uh, for c portion similar type of questions in c 0.875 so sin x is equal to 0.875 sin inverse 0.875 so with the help of calculator you can get 61.04 degree up to 2 dp 2 decimal places so what does that mean 61 less than 90 so it means it is an acute angle but we need obtuse angle so for obtuse angle subtract from 180 so you will get 119.0 degree up to 1 dp 1 decimal place so that is your required result similarly coming to the d part in d part uh, 0.3456 so sin x is equal to 0 0.3456 sin inverse 0 0.3456 so with the help of calculator you can get 20.22 degree up to 2 dp 2 decimal places but we need for obtuse angle so oh subtract from 180 So after subtraction you will get 159.8 degree up to 1 dp, 1 decimal place. So that is your required result. Similarly in question number 8, find an acute angle whose cosine is this one, okay. In question number 7, sine you have been treated, now you have to treat the cosine that is cos. Question number 8, find an in a portion we have to find the acute angle whose cosine is cosine that is 0 0.67 so okay so it means that is cos x is equal to cos x is equal to 0 0.67 cosine so the value of x is cos inverse 0 0.67 so with the help of calculator you will get 747.9 degree so up to 1 dp so we have to find acute less than 90 so it's okay so that is your acute angle in case of cosine similarly uh, in b portion you have to find 0 0.756 okay cos x is equal to 0 0.756 cos inverse 0 0.756 with the help of calculator you can get 40.9 degree up to 1 dp one decimal place so that is a required result similarly because it is also less than 90 so, so it is acute angle no need to convert for obtuse angle so so c portion uh, 0 0.5 so cosine cos x is equal to 0 0.5 so x is equal to 0 cos inverse 0 0.5 the value of x is equal to 60 degree which is also an acute angle so that is your required result similarly in d portion 0 0.985 so cosine x so what does that mean cos inverse so the value of x is equal to 9.9 degree so it is also an acute angle uh, up to 1 dp 1 decimal place so here is the required result no need to convert to obtuse angle now coming to the question number 9 in question number 9 given that 0 degree less or equal to x and less or equal to 180 find the possible values of x for each of the following equations a power sin x is equal to 0 0.753 okay
question number nine. Question number nine. We have been given that that is x greater or equal to zero degree, less or equal to one eighty degree. So this is the condition, possible condition, that if x uh, greater or equal to zero or less or equal to one eighty. So it means <coughs> either acute or obtuse. So we can say that either acute are obtuse so we have to check whether it is obtuse or acute so uh, in a portion uh, we have been asked that sin x is equal to 0 0.753 so the value of x is equal to sine inverse 0 0.753 so with the help of calculator your result is 48.9 degree up to 1 dp one decimal place so um, or you can say either acute or obtuse for obtuse subtract from 180 because in this question we have to take this step because both the conditions we have to calculate if it is acute then we have to find obtuse so 180 minus this one you will get 131.1 degree up to 1 dp one decimal place so that is your required result similarly for b portion sin x is equal to 0 0.952 the value of x is sine inverse 0 0.952 so the value of x is equal to 72.2 degree up to 1 dp one decimal place so once again it is an acute far obtuse 180 degree minus 72.2 degree subtract so you will get 107.8 up to 1 dp so far this one is your obtuse so both the angles we have calculated here acute and also obtuse now for c part sin x 0 0.4714 So the value of x is 28.1 degree up to 1 dp one decimal place r so far obtuse subtract from 180 degree so you will get 151.1 degree up to 1 dp one decimal place so this is your required result either acute either obtuse both we have calculated now another portion that is D D port cos x now cos minus 0 0.238 cos inverse minus 0 0.238 so the value of x is 103.8 degree up to 1 dp one decimal place so that is your required result because it is your obtuse result but as cause is negative as cause is negative so therefore it is obtuse it is perfectly obtuse as cause is negative if it is given to you cause is negative so it is obtuse similarly in e portion cos x is equal to minus 0 0.783 cos inverse 0. Point the value of cos inverse minus 0 0.783 141.5 degree up to 1 dp one decimal place so as cos is negative so it is obtuse it is clear from the given question similarly in f part cos x is equal to 0 
0.524 cos inverse 0.524 so the value of x is 58.4 up to 1 dp what does it mean 58.4 cos is positive here so when cos is positive therefore it is an acute when cos is negative it is obtuse definitely it is obtuse and when cos is positive so it is acute so you can write as that one is therefore acute that is your result so by the grace of God we have completed question 9 of exercise 8a of book d3 i hope that it would be helpful to you so thanks a lot thank you for watching